This is the most, okay, let me tell you. We had an origami today, special yesterday, which was basically our rolling kitchen cart. Great for the kitchen and some other areas. This is the most universal storage that we have in origami because you can put this anywhere. What I love about it is the shape and the size of it. A lot of our origami is big. A lot of it is a little wide. It goes in a certain place, maybe in the garage, maybe in the shed. This is designed to be tall, but not too deep. What that tells you is you could fit this right into a closet. You could slide this right into a pantry. It can go in spaces that nothing else might go into a small bedroom. This is in a powder room. You can put this in your bathroom and put towels on it. The price on this is only $114.95. It's free shipping and handling today. There's no such thing as free shipping and handling. It costs about 15 bucks to ship, and it's on FlexPay. You have six different levels of storage. All right, so Kyle, I have 400 available. What? Okay, Kyle says there are now 350. So already, just from us mentioning it, 50 people have already taken it. Tracy Rosa, I think you should yeah, finish your drink and then come on out here. <laughs> you need listen. You need to remain hydrated. You had a long day I know, yesterday. I'm keep my beauty. Well, we, yeah. you did such a good job yesterday. Well, thank you. And by the way, your origami sold out yesterday. Yep. But love, I will tell you, origami. I have this particular origami. So I actually I. own, and it's for a reason. I have a very small house. I don't have a lot mm -hmm. of storage. I don't have a lot of depth in the closets. Yeah. This is less than a foot deep. Right. Okay. It is about six feet high. Mm -hmm. You have six different shelves. Yes. And it comes completely assembled when you buy it. All right, there's 300 and Kyle said 340. They're going really, really fast. So uh, yeah, and, and, they, and they really should, yeah. in all honesty, because this is what we've done with origami. We have taken literally a two feet of space, just two feet of space, and then one foot off the wall, and we've given you 12 linear feet of storage. So we've taken this in 12 feet, 12 feet long, and instead of going 12 feet out, we've gone 12 feet up. But this is origami, and what we love most about origami, zero assembly. So take, this is how it comes to your house. Flat packed like this, and all you have to do is open it up, gravity does the work for you. Here's our famous origami clasp right here. This is gonna secure the entire system in place, and there you go. Now you have the entire shelving system. You bring the top over and you're ready to get organized. Now here's some great features about this guy. I love how you talked about this is this is our thinnest, sleekest, tallest yeah, design. Yeah, if you look at it, yeah. you look at it, see, th this is the reason I bought it, is mm -hmm. because my closets, are they're not really right. deep closets. It's a small house, mm -hmm. it's built in the 30s. So, and I'm not gonna renovate all that stuff, and I'm not gonna put closet no. systems in. This is a closet yeah. system you can buy for about 100 bucks that you can put in any closet. Mm -hmm. It's ideal in a pantry. Oh yeah. To put, because you could put 20 okay. pounds, right? 20 pounds per shelf. On each shelf. Yeah, so look at we're talking literally just a foot deep. So just a foot off of your wall just a foot off of your bathroom, just a foot off of your lanai, but it's two feet long. So two feet, two feet, two, there are 12 linear feet of, of storage space. space. Yeah. And like I said, just visualize it. If you had a, ta a 12 foot table, there's no way. The only way to really get organized, the only way to really save space is to go, you gotta up. go up. So you've got yeah. 20, 40, 60, 80, 120 pounds worth of weight on this super sleek, thin design. Yeah. So it's, it's great for the bathroom. It's great for the lanai. It's great for the pantry. That's the other thing, powder coated steel. Yeah. So indoors, outdoors, it's not yep. gonna run. It's great for the pool area. It, it, you know, you put the towels oh or you've gosh. got the baskets. Well, yeah. we've got it tricked out a lot Please. of different ways but I need to get an update from Kyle. I know it's going quick, Kyle. I know we're down to about, Kyle says 325 mm, now. Wow. So we started with 400, 75 already gone. And we, we still have 11 minutes left, so hopefully we'll have, <laughs> we'll have a lot of right. stuff to talk If you want white, Kyle, how many? 20. Oh my gosh. If you want white, there are 20 left and there's about 250 or so left in the black. They both go with anything. Mm -hmm. But if you are thinking, um, you yeah. know, powder room right now, maybe you want to do the white. And yeah. this is this is an ideal setup because the bathroom, Absolutely. that's the place where we don't have, usually don't have shelves. No. It's the smallest room in the house. Absolutely. Right? Uh -huh. That in the laundry room. Yeah. That's what this is perfect for. It absolutely is. Because again, we're talking a foot off your wall. So now you're getting a foot off of your wall, 12 linear feet of storage. So think of it. All 
of your towels right when you get out of the shower. There's no, you know, drip drying running to the linen right. closet. It's right at your fingertips. You can have all of these baskets filled with your shampoos, your lotions, your potions, whatever, your makeup, your curling irons, your flat irons, all those things that we need can now be at your fingertips right here on this storage solution. We've got our washcloths. We've got our toilet paper. Backup. You know? Look, you got the backup TP. Right. right. You know when, when that one person, honey, yeah. forgets to like redo the, the like well, leaves a well, and, empty car right. in there. Fantastic. Or the bag, you know, the empty bag is, right. is in the <laughs> shelf and you're like, really? You took the last roll out and exactly. you left me the bag? What am I going to wipe my butt with a bag? All right. So you get, you get the, it's true. sorry. It's true. Nasty. But you get, you, you got everything right there so right. you can see what, what you need. But even if you have backup shampoos and stuff like that. Of course. And you could buy these little kitschy cool baskets. Yeah. And stuff like that. And it's a way to decorate too. Yeah, you know, yeah, you yeah. buy these cool, it, it adds dimension. You add, it adds color. It adds, um, obviously complete organization. Right. Again, I, I want to show you right here. Notice, you know, everyone knows how tall a paper towel thing is. So you can see that there's a lot of space in between each shelf, you know? So this entire system is, um, it's a little over five and a half feet tall, but yeah. it's great for the office. Sure. Again, a foot off of well, your wall. And here's what I'll tell you. If, if you're going to do like office yeah. or if you're going to do living area, like, and you're going to put like kitschy stuff like mm -hmm. that, black might be the best color to go for yeah. because black's kind of neutral. It goes with everything. Uh -huh. uh, maybe if you want to do laundry, I, I know if you want to do white, we're almost out of white. Kyle says we have a dozen left in white um and i've only got kyle's kyle oh, just said they sold out that's how gone. quick okay. all right so um we're gonna keep the white uh -huh. out here just because we have our demos on the white but get the black it doesn't really matter yeah. to me i mean if, you, if you're gonna have an, if you're not gonna do white do black right. that's the best I way agree. to go but if you're doing still if you're doing a powder remember you can actually buy little shelving material and uh -huh. if you want to make because these are all these are all wire underneath right. but if you want to put a little piece of wood on there or if you want to mm -hmm. put a, a little cut out yep. of, of some kind of plastic on there you can do that which is what we've done here just to, keep our, yeah, yeah, just to keep our pictures put a block on there. And, and, and this is a great for the office because now you're sitting at your desk you just twirl over and then everything's at your fingertips you've got your pencils you've got your pens your envelopes your dividers you've got the pictures these are deep enough for some filing cabinets and they're sturdy so you're talking 20 pounds of weight yeah. on each one of these shelves. You're getting six shelves, six different tiers. Uh, this is, this, okay, I've said this before. I don't have a laundry room. I have a corner right. in the garage. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I have Danny's TV room. Yeah where the washer and dryer yeah. is. And then when we bought the house, right above the washer and dryer are those permanently installed, like what are they, the junky, nasty cabinets <laughs> yeah, that like yeah, degrade, yeah. you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. And the only way Cheap to up. get them on right. my five foot three frame is to climb up on the washer and dryer to and then get in there. Yeah. Okay, that stopped because I've almost fallen off of those twice. But now this gives me, everything's at my fingertips. These are strong enough to hold all of your you supplies your up, up here. here. You got your liquid. So, you know, these were, these were all folded with our flip fold. I know, way, I know, you know. Look how much we got so there. Slight, yep. But everything, you know, you've got this. You've got your fabric softener. And then I'll tell you this. When the shirts get out of the dryer, you shake them, shake them, shake them, put yeah. them on the hanger, and then I just hang them on this. Yeah, by you the know, way, so you've got, you got areas to hang things to because you've got, you know, this is all breathable. Yep. And there's little wires in here. Mm -hmm. You can hang stuff. You yeah. can put towels in here. Listen, yeah. I've got 268 left. Oh my that? gosh. 267 <laughs> left. Uh -huh. Kyle's going to put the left counter up there. 266. You see how quickly it's going? It's because it's, uh, it, and like I said, I own two origamis. So I have uh -huh. one in my shed, which is the big industrial one. And then I have this one, which is in the back, which is in where the laundry room where yeah. Danny is in the back. And what I've got in there is I've got, I actually have, I, I, I actually leave it open on the top like this. Okay. I actually have a laundry basket oh, that goes right idea. in there. And then I got all my various stuff for the laundry, mm -hmm. the little pods and all that stuff. Right. And then in the bottom, I actually have, uh, I put beach towels on yeah. the bottom because we're not using them right now. Water's a little chilly. So I can stow and, and store all that stuff. But here's the cool thing that we wanted to mention. When you buy this, it's completely assembled. The only thing they don't put on are the wheels. Absolutely. But what's great about that, Tracy, is that now we've got movable storage. Yes, yes. So if we want to clean behind it or if it just, you want to move it somewhere, you Absolutely. can. Absolutely. You, you know? know, and again, this this is fantastic for indoors and outdoors because it's that powder coated steel. Another thing this is great for, if you live in an apartment complex and maybe you have a beautiful little lanai and you want fresh plants, you want herbs, you want all of that, you can put everything on here and hose it and, and water them. Yeah. And then it's not going to rush 
chip or corrode. This is great by the pool. You can put all the beach towels. You can have your baskets with all mm -hmm. the goggles and the swim supplies. Sure. And it can stay outside permanently because it is that powder coated steel. It's not painted on. It's chemically adhered right. to the metal. So you want to put your firewood on it. You know, yeah. it, 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 you really you can could, load this up with anything. You can put appliances on here. Yep. If you want to put this in the kitchen. And what I love about, mm -hmm. see a kitchen is another for most of us. I mean, some of us have giant kitchens, but my kitchen is not much bigger than the bathroom yeah. in my house. It's small. So uh, a storage rack is ideal to put your larger pots and pans. Remember, uh -huh. each one will hold 20 pounds. I don't think you have any pots or pans that are 20 pounds. So mm -hmm. you can put those on there. You can put a pressure cooker. You can put a toaster oven mm -hmm. on here. You could put, you know, your big industrial pots yeah. down. If, you, if you've got the cast iron yeah. that weighs 15 pounds, you can put that, and you can put that all on one rack. And, and then, then you can move it. it when you need to move it. Yes. Or if it's your little, if it's your little portable pantry, put it in the closet. Exactly. Pull it out take your canned stuff off, and you slide it back in. That's what's so great about and the And this wheels. is one of the things that I love about working with origami because they've taken a very real problem that we all have. There, there's not enough storage space. In all honesty, there's just not. And the way that we would like to organize is just get everything out so that we can see it because if we're seeing it, we're using it. So at the end of the day, if I were to take the amount of storage surface area and I built a long table, it would have to be 12 feet long to get that kind of storage. Now, we've taken that and we've gone up so no more additions to the house nothing like that and then we've made it in a super super sleek design because yeah our heavy duty racks are phenomenal but sometimes you just want a smaller a thinner rack you know so here you go it's only a foot deep a foot off the wall and again it's going uh, it's almost it's a little over five and a half right. feet tall because you don't need anything bigger to put that on no. there. You see what I'm saying? Perfect. It's the perfect size to mm -hmm. be able to put stuff on that's not too giant and bulky. But like I said, yeah. even if even if it's, um, let's say you got a pressure cooker, right? Right. Pressure cooker's about that big around. That's going to fit perfectly on there. Exactly. It's going to be ideal. This is for so many things. In fact, you know, when I write here, I always write for, for anywhere you want to put this because it is one of the only origamis that literally goes in any place in your home down in the basement to store stuff in the basement oh, yeah. and by the way and get it up off the Great floor idea. if you've got a wet basement mm -hmm. like you do up in new england uh you get it up off the floor if you want to use it in your uh, garage right as a, as a way think about the number of jars of nails and nails and oh, yeah. you can hang hammers and oh, tools yeah. off this thing mm -hmm. too so it'd be great at a, mm -hmm. near a tool a tool shed it could be a tool big giant open toolbox yeah. um you can bring it indoors in the kitchen you could bring it into the bathroom you could use it in your laundry room in a kid's bedroom even to put your pictures in your own oh, yeah. bedroom you could you could fancy it up a little bit and put some cool stuff on it. What I love about it is it's that great industrial look. Mm -hmm. The price is ridiculous at $100. Yeah, you can go and buy yeah. shelving systems at the, uh, you know, the home store <laughs> that are plastic. Oh, my god. That gosh. you have to put together yeah. yourself piece by piece. No, and they're maybe $70, $80. Yeah, no forget. thanks. Not okay, a hundred bucks that somebody yeah, come do that. Exactly. Like you I know, do with my grill. I'm, like, I'm not putting a grill together. What are you well, crazy? In all honesty, I just don't trust what, myself. What am I engineer? I'm not and an engineer. You know what I love? It's like assembly required. Assembly, yeah. nothing. See Build. It. It's, you're anything. building something. It's not. You're not assembling. You're, you're building. Doing, you you're give me five. Apple. You're doing the work. Yeah. You give me a yeah. hundred screws, six shelves, and no, 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 no. Thanks. Not today. This is this is my assembly. Literally. Right. That's my assembly. Well, and if you're my mom, if you're my mom and you're eighty something years old, you're not going to be sitting down your hands and knees with a screwdriver no. No. putting in uh, bolts and, and nuts and things like that no. you're not going to do it which is what's so great about this okay i have 200 left i got two minutes left so and all we have left is black i apologize for that but that's just the way it goes you know with origami right we bring in so many colors and a lot of you gravitated towards white we had less to start the show but black is a perfectly good substitute if you don't want to do it matches anything it'll match you know. anything and again you it kind of disappears yeah. when you put stuff on it it really does you really it's it's such a minimal frame uh -huh. let's talk about strength too though yes. you know the way this is built for it to hold 20 pounds of shelf uh, oh, it's tough. It, it's strong. And I know you were talking about the pressure. Think of all of those big appliances that you have. Where are they? They're probably out of sight, yeah. out of mind, in the cabinets, in the pantry. My and waffle we iron. You, yeah, once I take it out once every two years. <laughs> and then I go, dang, I have a waffle right. iron. And you can cook anything in a waffle I iron. So if it's right here, you're going to use it. But again, it's not taking up so much space. It's literally one foot, my friends, off of your wall. That's it. So you're never gonna you're never gonna come around the corner and run into it because it's literally one foot off the wall. But it is six shelves up. So and then each shelf holds 20 pounds worth of weight. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120 pounds worth of storage weight. Origami has thought of it. We wanted a sleeker.